Hello and welcome to this short demonstration video that um, I hope to be able to show you a bit about a new product we have called PM Systems and also for people who are not fully familiar with Project Magenta software I hope it gives them a little bit of an idea of what the software is capable of within the bounds of a flight simulator. PM Systems provides the system logic for the entire uh, aircraft whether that be the overhead panel to the throttle quadrant to the main panel annunciation, we can now wire in quite simply the annunciators and also the switching through the use of an expansion board like those from CP Flight. It's possible to get the uh, annunciators to come on when you want them, the switches to switch, and also because PM Systems provides the logic, then the correct annunciation will appear above us and the correct switches and the sense of the switches is automatically detected. I've positioned the flight simulator at Heathrow Airport and from here I shall just go through the flight management uh, computer and the pre-flight setup and then hopefully through the video you'll see a little bit of uh, how the overhead panel is interacting with the software uh, of PM systems. As this engine screws up, I'll just quickly go over the process of how PM Systems is handling this. First, the physical start switch was turned by me in the simulator on the overhead panel. This input is sent by the expansion board and then PM Systems. The input is sent via FSUIPC to the flight simulator, which, in turn, starts the engine starter motor. Within the bounds of PM systems, this would be entirely dependent on the other systems being selected first, like either ground air or air selected from the APU to the engine. Once the engine is running, the starter will automatically disengage and PM Systems will send a message to the expansion board to release the starter switch.